Hello everyone, thanks for stopping in and uh, this video is focused on uh, online students, you know, night students, uh, students who have a lot going on in their lives and sometimes obstacles get in your way and uh, you just feel like you can't get things done for whatever the reason is. And so, you know, of course, the title of the video is about making a, a promise. And so uh, life is busy, you know, we have things that go on and get in the way sometimes, you know. And uh, for, uh, you know, like I say, online students or students that go to, you know, one night a week, things might happen that cause you not to keep up or, you know, just totally procrastinate. Uh, however, for a student uh, that's online, you know, the whole purpose of this video is to talk about something uh, all of us made. Uh, use a student that uh, you, you've made a promise. And that's the whole point of the video here is remembering that we made promises, uh, you know, about school. And one of the obstacles in making a promise is procrastination. Uh, procrastination, the action of running your life or no, or ruining your life for no apparent reason. And uh, it's also the thief of time. I uh, think you gotta realize every time you put something off, you're stealing time from yourself. You know, you take an hour tonight, uh, an hour yesterday or two, and, you know, that you put off on doing the you know, schoolwork. And what you've done is you, you've, you're stealing time from the future. You know, if you put off three, four, five hours of uh, school study time, work time during the week, all of a sudden you're stuck on a Sunday uh, stealing that five hours from your Sunday. And so that's just a different way to look at it, all right? And, uh, you know, again, you, you made a promise. Uh, you've made a promise to yourself. You know, you decide to go after this MBA or, you know, or take on a project or whatever the case is. And, you know, that's a promise you need to keep to yourself. Uh, you made a promise to the school. Depending on the size of the school, some of the very large universities where uh, a teacher will have 50 or 100 students, uh, granted, a uh, teacher may not even know who you are. Uh, but in a lot of the smaller schools, you know, I mean, there's there's lots of uh, interaction with teachers and, uh, you know, the school is interested in your progress. And uh, you've also made a pr uh, promise to your teachers. So again, in the smaller schools where there's lots of interaction with teachers and so forth, uh, you know, you've made a commitment for them to commit their time to you. And so it's only fair that you, you know, commit your, your time to the courses you're in. And you've made a promise to everyone who supports you. Now, if you happen to be one of those people who doesn't have any support, uh, there's a video on that too. But, you know, then you got to support yourself and you got to be your own cheerleader. And you just got to stay focused on your promise and your goals. You, you got to stay focused on that and don't let all the distractors get you. Remember that after you earn your MBA, you know, nothing should change. You know, things should, you should still be in the race. I use a lot of, uh, you know, running metaphors and analogies for things, but you know, you should still stay in the race. You're just moving on to the next chapter of your life. Uh, chapters is another one of those ways to look at things. You know, everything you do in your life is just a chapter and you move on to the next one. And you don't take a break. You know, again, I use runners. You know, you know, runners don't stop and take a break in the middle of their, their run. When a runner uh, finishes a race, uh, they're on a marathon or whatever, they don't just stop and take a, a month off or something. They go back out the next day and keep on running. And same applies for what we're talking about. You know, you keep going and you don't quit. Uh, the MBA is not the end, it's just one of the many races in your life. And again, MBA, a project, whatever the case may apply to you, your particular situation. Uh, but you should finish every race in your life. Know that you gave each race 100%. Not 80% or a little bit. Just have, you know, know in your heart that you gave it everything you could. Stay focused on your promises and your goals. And just don't slow down. Don't quit. Keep running towards your goals.